Dear participants, my name is Christian Schuster, and uh, I would like to present a review paper prepared by Vlad Kalemic, Vita Schuster, and myself, which is dealing with knowledge management and fast developing IT capabilities, which typically result in digital transformation. It is well known that speed of knowledge multiplication is constantly increasing. Some sources say that nowadays it doubles every 12 hours. To stay on top of its challenges in the business world, organizations should understand, adopt and execute knowledge management process. It means that they should devote resources, time, uh, energy, and effectively organize, create, collect, and use and share knowledge in a convenient way. Only by adopting approach of continuous testing of experience and its transformation into knowledge, organization is becoming a learning organization and develop capability to maintain performance as determined by various authors such as Senj and his colleagues uh, Sired and March, as well as Shun. According to Garvin, uh, learning organizations must accomplish five uh, main activities systematic problem solving, experimentation with new approaches, learning from their own experience and past history, uh, learning from experiences and best practices from others, and transferring knowledge quickly and efficiently throughout the organizations. As shown by Mahender and colleagues, those uh, learning organizations invest in knowledge management and are motivated by three goals. Firstly, knowledge management is mainly implemented when the organization wants to gain a competitive advantage with respect to other competitors by applying various strategies. Secondly, organizations implement knowledge management very rigorously when its main objective is targeting specific customer segments. And third finding, and third finding is that effective knowledge management helps to increase productivity among its employees. On the left side of the slide, blueprint of learning is shown. Structured by clustered uh, of 11 non-sequential characteristics. So enabling structures represent central pivot. Looking in and looking out are mirrored images and strategy and learning possibilities are edging ones. This simplified model can serve as checkpoints in analyzing a company as well as foundation for organizational changes because this represents prescriptions and commitments to activities. As shown by Go, who in fact synthesized managerial practices and policies, a learning organization consists of following uh, core uh, building blocks. So the first one is mission and vision. It means uh, clarity, an employee support of the mission, strategy, and values of the organization. The second one is the leadership. So leadership is perceived as empowering employees, encouraging an experimenting culture, and showing strong commitment to the organization. So third one would be uh, experimentation. Uh, a strong culture of experimentation is typically rewarded and supported at all levels in the organization. And the last but not least is the transfer of knowledge. It is the ability of the organization to transfer knowledge within and from the outside the organization and to learn from failures. Uh, one of the most uh, common traditional knowledge management model is SCI. Uh, 
This it is model defined by uh, Nanaka and Takeuchi, and is taking into aspects only human interactions. However, uh, recent development of IT technologies put some additional aspects into picture. These days, it is common to uh, have hundreds of devices uh, connected. And these devices are typically producing, collecting, and sharing data in extensive and continuous way. And in fact, they're enabling implementation of advanced analytics and uh, machine learning, uh, which in fact contributes to knowledge creation. Um, thus being able to perform complex activities without human interaction. This kind of digitized organizations should have knowledge management strategies integrated with this type of systems, IT systems, and uh, embedded within the processes. Fourth, industrial revolution is characterized by new technologies. It's fusing the physical, digi digital, and uh, biological worlds. It means that traditional knowledge management models are not related exclusively to humans, but it also advanced IT systems, which are becoming relevant entities and its building blocks should be extended by aspects of disruptive IT influence. Knowledge management is still somehow uh, under-researched uh, in uh, Croatia. Milanovic, Glavan, and Ivacic uh, from Faculty of Economy in Zagreb um, in 2017, they analyzed the state of uh, knowledgement in uh, Croatian companies by executing a survey on the sample of 200 companies in Croatia, focused on three domains uh, which were recognized uh, as uh, critical success factors. Those domains are knowledge itself, so information technology and organizational uh, culture. At the end, uh, authors had two main recommendations. First one is to actively develop and use all critical success factors of knowledge management. It means that companies have to have knowledge management strategy, knowledge management workers, and organizational uh, culture. The second one is to increase the use of IT for all uh, knowledge management tasks in a knowledge management process. Uh, it is also recognized that uh, European regulations and uh, digital transformation of public services, mainly those uh, which are dealing with national registers and uh, big data, they impacted the public administration to become more and more aware of the importance uh, of knowledge management. This process is uh, manifested in practice through the various uh, e-services projects and uh, initiatives. Well, previously, uh, I stressed uh, what are the typical blueprint and uh, building blocks, and similar approach is applicable for Croatian public organizations. We know that IERAC uh, proposes to start with IT sector as it is support to all other organizational sectors in providing their services, uh, as well as provider of uh, information technology for conceptual and uh, practical implementation of uh, knowledge management. To conclude, successful organiza organizations have understood the importance of managing knowledge through process of organizing, creating, using, and sharing collective knowledge within an organization. Knowledge management is a, as a discipline is mature, as broad number of authors contributes to the theoretical foundations. However, digital transformation opens new aspects of interactions 
between humans and technology, which inherit potential uh, for a further development of knowledge management as a discipline to be able to respond to disruptive future. Thank you very much for your attention.